Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ferdinand Waititu, the former governor of Kiambu County, anakuja na kusema kwamba that before the election, William Ruto called him Kiraito Murungi and Francis Kimemia for a meeting where he promised that one of them will be his deputy president. <laughs> now, the question is, just yesterday, William Kabogo is coming out to drop a bombshell. <laughs> As the claim is that when Kenyans went to election, they left their brain at home. Number two, that Uhuru Kenyatta came out just hinting what was going to happen after William Ruto sworn in in the office. And for William Kabogo, he wanted Uhuru Kenyatta to come out so elaborate. But the question that I asked you yesterday again, even if Uhuru Kenyatta was to be elaborate towards what was going to happen, was William Kabogo willing to divert his attention from supporting William Ruto? The same thing happening to Ferdinand Waititu. These individuals that you are seeing coming out complaining they were promised something and they don't have it now. William Kabogo was promised cabinet minister. When cabinet ministers was all appointed, Again, he was promised principal secretary. After being, after William Ruto appointed all principal secretaries, William Kubogo was promised chief administrative secretary. That court came out shutting down. When the court stopped the appointment of chief administrative secretary called Cass, uh, William Kabogo was promised another seat as chairperson of boards or parastatics. As we speak, William Kabogo has nothing to do with this government. So what William Kabogo said yesterday, the same to what Fernando Waititu is now coming out to say. But the question is, even if William Ruto was serious towards appointing in between Ferdinand Waititu, Francis Kimemia, and Ferdinand, uh, of course, and... Um, Kiraitu Murungi, who was likely to be the deputy president. In between Kiraitu Murungi, Francis Kimemia, and Ferdinand Waititu. Because Ferdinand Waititu is saying that he was, he was called during, election, uh, during the campaign period. Before even election. And William Ruto promised them. Now, as if that is not enough. Do you know that Ferdinand Waititu exited UDA party? Ferdinand Waititu is not in UDA party. He declared that the Kenya Kwanza government, they are hypocrites and he cannot continue working with them. So Ferdinand Waititu exited. After exiting, he kept quiet. He never came out even altering any kind of words or even suggestions. When it comes to the government of William Ruto, what he did, he kept quiet. Today, what I'm seeing is that before the election, Kabogo is claiming William Ruto called him. Called him. Kiraitu Murungi again and Francis Kimemi. The basis of this meeting was either three of them, or rather either one of them, among the three, was going to be the deputy president running mate of William Ruto. But again, quantified Fernando Waititu to a Jew jokes. When you look at all odds in the mountain, I, I don't want to underrate Fernando Waititu, but ukiangalia odds zote Mount Kenya in between Fernando Waititu, Kiraitu Murugi, na Francis Kemeni, who was likely to get this thing. 
Because even the expectations were, regarding the shagos, not going to be given this. I don't know what the criteria these people used. But for me, in deep analysis, I realized that William Ruto wanted someone who has money. William Ruto wanted someone who has money. Because when you compare Rigadi Ashagwa and Kindiki Kiture, Rigadi is having money than Kindiki Kiture. But when it comes to the political understanding or rapport, Kindiki Kiture is having a, a, a little bit good politics than Rigadi Ashagwa. Again, something that William Ruto understood very well when it comes to Rigadi Ashagwa was that Rigali Ashago is a rough man. He is rough. And this was to take William Ruto to decide whoever is going to... But when look Kindiki Kiture, he's like someone who is so much humble. So much innocent. But Rigali Ashago, the mutu ule alipigwa left, right, center. So the, 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 the policies here... Let me say, in terms of the selection of the remnant, for me, Ferdinand Waititu, though we should not underrate anyone because Ferdinand Waititu was the former governor of Kiambu, but the truth is, even despite of that, remember one thing. Ferdinand Waititu immediately William Ruto took over and soon in, in the office, he was promised a job. And the job that he was given to be the chairperson of Nairobi River, I think, the Nairobi River, something like that, then because of the appointment was not in accordance to the law, then it made William Ruto to scatter this committee where Ferdinand 22 was the chairperson. But now, immediately William Ruto took over, when Fenant was given this, then it was scattered because of the rule of law. Then Fenant waited, waited for a, another job. He waited, nothing was coming on his way. He waited, nothing was coming in his way. So the truth is, Fenant waited is just a complainer. He is not comfortable. As he is claiming he campaigned for William Ruto, he seriously endorsed William Ruto, but he doesn't have any job to do. Does it mean that if tomorrow Fernando Waititu is going to be appointed, he will now again rejoin UDA, but Fernando Waititu is not in UDA? He exited the other time. Just about three months to go. Fenon Waititu exited UDA party. And after exiting UDA party, we knew that Fenon Waititu together with William Kabogo, they're going to lead a team that is going to exit Kenya Kwanza. So what I know, even if it will take time, I know William Ruto will come at the end of his first term. He will decide even to appoint Waititu, William Kabuga, and those who are making noise. At least to have somewhere when there's a part of salary, now when there's a security, the guy is For them not to come out and continue destroying him. So William Ruto is also calculating. These people are continuing to destroy me. Let me do what it is expected of them. They will be, uh, they will be appointed. You saw even the other time, William Kabogo had a meeting with William Ruto instead of. But still, William Kabogo is so bitter, Waititu is so bitter, and other individuals in the mountain. Can they come up with a team that will destroy William Ruto in the mountain? Yes, they can. They can. Together with the others in Azimio, they can. Even if they will not be in Azimio, but they will destroy William Ruto terribly. The mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, 
and sharing this video. Bye bye till you meet on